Sangreas is a Yaffe here. And now we are going to uh, go to a, a little bit of a hot topic. A little bit of a hot water. I'm going to talk about race. Yes, we are not the only just human race, we have races. So, uh, like I'm from Finland, Finnish people are not race, we are black. <laughs> yeah, sorry, we're not black, we're white. But uh, I, I got like uh, really distracted. I, I, I want to talk about black people, so I said <laughs> black people. Yeah, there is one actually a uh, Finnish song that uh, goes like we want to be black people, so you can take it as that. So um, I've moved to Lapland from central Finland. I have a uh, true two African friends here. They were um, like, uh, let's say they were Mr. E and Mr. G. Hello, Mr. G, uh, the G man, like in uh, Half Life 2, but African version, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, um, so as I moved to Lapland, uh, there are a lot of black people here. I've seen mostly uh, foreigners that are black people. I don't have anything against black people. Uh, my family, when we moved to central Finland, uh, we got a rental house from our family friend and there was this our family uh, friend uh, who uh, had went to Africa and he got really bad malaria so uh, the fever caused him to become like uh, unfertile but uh, he found uh, this woman called Brenda and he brought Brenda to Finland so I've lived in the same household as a black woman and I was so young that uh, like third grade on this lower school no, it's not high, yeah before high school so uh, my English, uh, well, I could understand English, but speaking was different. I could, like, maybe reach as far as introducing myself and my siblings, but my siblings were even worse at the English, they couldn't, like, introduce themselves. So I saw this friend, a woman, like, so, like, snow for the very first time and she was like raising the snow up with her hands and it was a beautiful sight she was really happy like what is this what is this <laughs> she was choking like of course she knew what it was but she was like amazed about it oh it's snow oh, it's snow african first snow oh 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 oh, oh, oh. <laughs> this is like a how would you say a bitter sweet story like they broke up because uh, Brenda wanted children but uh, they I, I heard last time I asked about them that they like uh, after many years uh, they, they came back together like uh, I, I find it like a uh, beautiful story I never like when people like uh, when they uh, get divorced or uh, like break up uh, it's always happier when it's just love that lasts so um why I'm talking about like race so um one of the reasons why I wanted to move away from central Finland was that uh, I it was a really big city and I didn't like it. I didn't like it uh, because uh, I was not used to like uh, well it wasn't like that before like our 
uh, satanic overlords uh, in the Finnish government in their great wisdom have like opened the borders of Finland so that uh, every like uh, type of uh, the race cannot just walk over the borders like um, I, I, I'll say it straight I was kind of like um, on the edge with this thing uh, you know there was like 50 years ago a war World War 2 there were, were like uh, big war you have heard about it and Finland was part of it Finland was part of the Axis forces what would consist of uh, not Germany Finland of course and Japan and Italia okay so yeah and we fought Russia and we lost and our uh, gay yeah he was gay Finland is really open to gays and if you're a Finnish and you're not open to gays the hero of Finland Carl Gustav Emil Mannerheim was a gay field marshal of Finland and he gave his ultimatum to the Russian people that um, you're going that my men are not going to uh, surrender and and that you need to kill every last one of us if you want Finland uh, by this time Finland had been conquered two times when like uh, um, Sweden came with like uh, uh, Christianity on the other hand as word on the other and after that uh, like uh, Russia got the hold of Finland but uh, yeah I don't know history so very well I must say but uh, I think uh, there was uh, somehow Finland got semi-independent and I guess this was like a World War II were a perfect opportunity for uh, Russia to get a hold of Finland again and for Finland opportunity to get like rid of Russia but, uh, Finnish people are Russians. We came from uh, Siberia. We migrated from Siberia. Siberia is in Russia. It's in North Asia. Finnish people have most North Asian DNA of the European people. So this is guaranteed. But um, I really what I hated in central Finland was that there were so many Muslims like our satanic overlord uh, government decided that it's it's great to bring so many Muslims as they can to our Christian country there isn't like uh, y you are either a Christian or you are a atheist there isn't any else there isn't Hindus Buddhists you name there isn't Muslims in Finland like uh, no there isn't <laughs> I, I haven't met anyone uh, of course I have seen those women who have taken uh, like a Muslim man to their uh, husband and then they are converted. Okay, I live next to a railroad, so that's a train. If it, if the mic catches it, but um, yeah, I uh, okay. Let the let the <laughs> let the train pass. Let the train pass. There isn't rain there, but um, 
Yeah. So uh, I used to hate Central Finland. It, you know, the Muslims, they have this idea that uh, they will conquer Earth and that the, every other like if you are not Muslim you are going to become a slave to Muslims or maybe your family in the future is gonna be slaves so uh, they are really cocky these Muslims you, you are used to if you stare at the Finnish person when you walk if you stare him in the eyes that's like challenge to a combat but uh, <laughs> when you are walking and there is Muslim men, they, they stare at you and uh, you can always see the curved daggers like in comics flying out of their, uh, their eyes. It's like uh, you shouldn't even be walking on the same street with them. You are a slave, they are the chosen people, they are the overlords yeah. upcoming overlords they have like promised us that they will conquer Rome uh, good riddance, I don't want to see the catholic church anymore since they are doing devilish stuff do the uh, demonic stuff to christian faith like, uh, yeah, so it was like a custom when crucifixion, crucifixion, crucifix, oh no, crucifixion, okay, when uh, Romans did crucifixion, they would use three nails, and the Roman Catholic Church insists that Jesus was uh, like uh, he was nailed with four nails. Why? Like uh, when Catholic Church came to power, they started to like alter Bible like crazy, like crazy, and they are like uh, they are trying to substitute Jesus with. Virgin Mary, they they are really trying to make Virgin Mary uh, like a, a, a Christian goddess. I don't count the Catholic Church as part of Christianity. They are they are in the under the influence of the devil. But. Uh, yeah, we have uh, our own problems in Christianity, but uh, so I had like um, now I, as I live here in Lapland, so uh, I've been visiting this uh, club for mental patients. It's called uh, the Getter Club. So um, I have this 62 old friend uh, called Painter. His name is Painter, yes, you don't reveal real names. And he wanted to go, um, actually we wanted to go to this, um, uh, this is like, um, I, I hope it's Lestadians in English, like it's in Finnish, it's just well, it's the church that Lestadius founded. Yeah, so it, it's it's a, it's basic. It's a nice church. They are like uh, really enthusiastic Christians, so they had to make their own church. And they have a little bit different Bible, but it's mostly the same. Uh, it, it, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, there are a couple of Lestadians in this uh, Together Club and I, and they are both wonder wonderful people, very humoristic. They are brothers and really fun guys. But, uh, yeah, 
animals and about the studies. Oh, like uh, in uh, Sweden, like you can get by a car to a Swedish area, like it's uh, you just, we're really close to Sweden in, here in Lapland, so the Lestadians of Sweden uh, hold this um, I don't know what the event is called but um, Lestadians in Finland call it Suviseura Suviseura like uh, uh, my Finnish is bad, I'm sorry. So, well, Suvi is a really old word, M means something about summer, but uh, Seura means like company. Okay. Uh, I can't get that word to my mind, what does it mean? I have heard Suvi, it's also a woman's name, but. Uh, it's in songs and yeah. I think it's like the dawn of summer, if I had to guess. But, uh, or like the summer at its best. But yeah, so uh, I don't know what uh, the, like, the, 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 the Swedish are calling their uh, the Swedish less studies, but they're, they're calling their uh, well, the same festival celebration, but it's much bigger than Finland. Like 5,000 people attend that uh, celebration, so uh, we got our like right there. Uh, we have we would have like been there three days and but uh, it fell apart since uh, this painter friend of mine he had a friends there he had worked in like there for five years in a Swedish area but uh, I guess it uh, fell apart since we did, couldn't get like a uh, place to stay the night you know, it's hard to get it for two people and every place was booked up so uh, my friend the painter he uh, <laughs> wasn't very good at organizing like he, he got the ride but he didn't know that he would get the ride it was just this guy who was his friend uh, Christian also uh, like Finnish being man uh, living in Russia, uh, I'm sorry, Russian, I mean, Swedish area, so he will like surprisingly could uh, fetch us. Uh, well, it was uh, too fast and furious for us to go there. It was in God's will, but uh, instead, now I'm going to go to the black stuff, black people stuff. So, uh, in like Lapland, there are a lot of black people. I don't see Middle Easterns. I think Middle Eastern people are like uh, afraid of that Lapland will be cold, so they like flock to the southern Finland. But uh, black people don't mind, or they have like brains here that okay if you just enough clothes on you are not going to be cold but yes the also the Middle Easterners should know this the nights are cold in the Middle East but uh, yeah, yeah so um, we wanted to go with the painter to this uh, uh, like uh, uh, like I said, I was on vacation from the Together like, Mental Club, and like uh, it was the last day of the 
it's Sunday was the last day of that vacation and like uh, uh, this painter wanted to go to this uh, I don't know what it's called in English, it's, it, it is in English, but it's in Finnish, it's Helluntai Kirko, Helluntai Church. Helluntai is the day when the disciples got the Holy Spirit and this, uh, uh, Helluntai is kind of like the Lestadian Church, that they were too enthusiastic or uh, like a normal Christian so um, they had to uh, like make their own church and their church is uh, it's focused on the Holy Spirit and Holy Spirits uh, like uh, speaking on tongues these are priests they will uh, bubble like children like like I mean like really young children that can't speak yet you know they will speak in tongues and they consider it the greatest gift of the Holy Spirit I don't speak in tongue I have tried it but uh, I don't do it yeah but um, and I don't have a special kind of love for the Luntai Church. I know it came from America, but I don't know the um, and I didn't do my research for this video. But when I went with my friend to this uh, Luntai Church, we wanted to uh, actually. My, it was my friend's idea that we would attend. Uh, what there are they are teaching to children not uh, the actual uh, Sunday church we wanted to go to the children's Sunday church but uh, that was actually on like uh, summer leave or summer vacation for the children but uh, well the garden, the summer, the schooling for the children was uh, not happening on summer, so we went to the uh, normal, uh, like uh, Sunday church. Uh, uh, what it's called? Well, I'll say ceremony. But um, I was so surprised. There were like. 85% of the people were black then there was like 1% 2% of the people were from other nationalities and uh, like uh, well the rest were Finnish like the mostly the Finnish people that were there were workers and like workers wives and whatnot their spouses so uh, there were uh, what I could see there was me and the painter and I could see two other Finnish people the whole place was full there was not enough spaces to sit so this was like actually the uh, I've been wondering what it would feel like to go to a like fully black church but uh, I've only seen on video like uh, black churches that uh, there is the pastor is black and he is talking the mother tongue of the black people so this isn't what you imagine like uh, the, this, this is like Finnish church still so they are Finnish people, white people speaking Finnish language and the black people don't understand it and yeah so uh, well they uh, understand what is happening but they don't understand what is spoken so like I talked with my friend this Mr. G 
Hello, Mr. T. Uh, but uh, he just like talked about it that uh, yeah it's uh, nice that they have some kind of translation here and there but not it's not perfect but it's better than just going to a church you don't understand a word and you go home you got nothing out of the church but uh, yeah so uh, that's the uh, state of one church in Finland but uh, this is a um, bigger issue I have had issues with uh, you know Finland fighting the war to keep our independence and then the satanic uh, a new government opens its doors to every kind of race and they uh, like sell Finnish independence for uh, like joining up with everything Western forces so to suggest them and I feel like Finnish government is just a proper government and I don't like uh, open anything and well it shouldn't exist in my mind you could call me anarchist but uh, i'm not politically active i'm i want to be a pirate i just want to say no do it all and not fight it like uh, i want to live on the water <laughs> yeah people don't own the water but uh, it's uh, stupid no nowadays to talk about Finland if you would visit Finland there are Finnish people but there isn't a country called Finland anymore of course there is a like we have to like uh, respect geometry so uh, there is a land called Finland but it's not a country called Finland there isn't a government that I would, I would call that rules over Finland it gets no respect from me and there are so many foreigners that are like uh, with the current feminism on Finland it's so it was before it was e extremely hard to find a woman a Finnish woman like uh, but uh, with nowadays the feminism has uh, boosted like the self-esteem of women and with uh, that comes that uh, the women are like demanding better for themselves and they are demanding better men for themselves and uh, and this has like uh, gone to a degree that actually there isn't like there isn't a lot of men who meet the quota that the uh, uh, woman like set the bar like I'm below the bar I'm a good looking man but I'm, been, I'm unemployed from the age of 18 so that's a huge turn off for every woman no one takes me seriously yeah what you go to the uh, uh, mental club men, uh, mental patients club and you do youtube you don't get money goodbye that's that's the treatment what i get uh, and like like the muslims they are like uh well they have enslaved well they will enslave the whole world but they enslaved their own women first so um, I'll say it's right. I, I think like 
bagging their own woman in black clothes. Uh, it's just uh, and you, like they don't have a, like almost any say when a man wants to marry them. Uh, like uh, it, uh, they can't hurt man's feelings or that could become a bad thing for them. Like man's honor is much more like uh, important than the f- woman's like right to like uh, choose her own life path. So the Muslims in Finland they will uh, breed like rabbits, and black people are really good and nice people and they are mostly Christians but I'll say that there isn't like it's not uh, like a coincidence that there are so many black peoples in the world there uh, they, they find their uh, like uh, they find each other easier than Finnish people like um, many Finnish people actually uh, men not women fear re- rejection because re- rejection is uh, it's more certain that you're actually gonna achieve any kind of relationship or even a date like uh, what I feel like uh, like black people, they are like more uh, relaxed in even, even these scenarios. Like uh, getting a uh, like a cold shoulder from a black woman. I don't think it's as like a. It's, I don't think it happens as often as with, with Finnish women. Like, uh, Finnish women are kind of snobbish, if I can say that. It's, it doesn't apply to everyone. But in my life, uh, I have... When you are a uh, like loser, you are not working, you are uh, like school dropout and you try to find a woman. And the women are, are like, uh, they are educated and they are may working. You will get snobby treatment out of them. The price there. But, uh, and I'm not feeling sorry for myself. I'm happy as I uh, are. But I'm just wanting to say as uh, my final words that, uh, these are uh, well I don't really even count the Asians Asians pretty much well uh, Japan has a uh, issue with uh, people fearing react reaction there is a lot of reaction going on there but some like uh, China there is like uh, they uh, are like their like birth rates are booming and I don't know why but I think there is some kind of forcing and the culture is kind of like forcing you to uh, marry you you're, uh, if you're a woman your father will force you to marry and have children so that the like the bloodline will go on forever it's like the most important thing so uh, what I'm trying to say is that uh, maybe it's cast maybe it's like religion like with the Muslims maybe it's like customs like Asians maybe it's uh, well not all Asians, I don't count Japanese here. But, uh, or maybe it's like with the, like, uh, just uh, people are different. 
like people are now are nice and easy going and they will find love easier than Finnish white people and yeah so what I'm going to want to say that uh, I don't uh, think there is any more like a Finnish country there the puppet government doesn't do anything right and we wouldn't need it even it's just an illusion they want to keep yeah everything works like a clock here but uh, the government takes all the credit for it when people actually run the country yeah. we call them the lords of helsinki helsinki and herat just uh, like uh, to mock these people because they are like acting like they would be like lords from uh, middle ages in Helsinki or capital city but yeah this is just gone too long and I need to stop now so I thank you for listening if you want to talk about racial issues uh, if you want to talk about Christianity yeah, and if you want to talk about feminism and portraits and reaction, if you want to talk about law, give me a shout and thank you for watching and goodbye.